Kyle, Jess Kamloff, mental performance consultant candidate, LPC, school counselor, coach, athlete, and general sports lover. I'm coming to you today just with a short video to athletes about um, a, practice, a practice that we can have during this very difficult time of the coronavirus in our area. Currently, the, we're off for the next two weeks. Uh, sports have been suspended. Um, we were in our you know, state championship time for winter sports and spring sports have just started with tryouts and you know getting the season started and right now we have no idea um, what's going to happen next this is very uncharted territory for everyone and just very uneasy you know an uneasy time for everyone as well so i um, wanted to talk about how gratitude can actually be a practice that we can use in sports um, and in life in general but um, talking about some aspect of sports because I'm sure right now some of you are like, how is gratitude going to help me become a better athlete and help me get through this time? Um, but I wanted to to briefly just discuss how this having this practice is going to be able to help help everyone um, get through th this time and, and come out uh, once once things are back to normal in a more positive way. Um, so the Webster's dictionary version of gratitude is that is the quality of being thankful. It's also uh, the readiness to show and receive um, um, kindness. And this is the, the test of everyone's resiliency. Those who are able to think of this, you know, as, in as positively as, as a, of a manner, um, they're going to be able to come out more on top once things are, are back to normal. Um, not minimizing anybody's situation at all financially or, you know, how difficult this time is. Um, but the more positive we can be throughout this whole experience, the, the better uh, the outcome will be when things are back to normal. Um, po in positive psychology, there's a, a theory that's called the, the broaden and build theory, where the, you actually, the more positive you can be, you're actually increasing your brain function. And when brain function is increased, you are able to see you know, all aspects, you're supposed to see all options. Um, you can see things more clearly and so being able to be more positive uh, and, and increase that brain function you know is going to help in, in just in life and also in sport um, but a way that you can do this and a way that you can increase your positivity is through gratitude and this is the way that we can actively acknowledge our positive aspects of our lives um, we can see the positive aspects of situations we can see the positive aspects of others and um, gratitude is going to be able to help us recognize value and so when we value uh, others we're going to be better teammates so we can value we can value our teammates so even you know you all have somebody on your team that I'm sure um, you know throughout your athletic career that you just don't care for um, or an opponent that you don't care for um, but being able to see them see their value being able to see that um, you know, hey, I don't like X, Y, and Z about this person, but they're really good at, at, at A, B, and C. So you're able to see that, that this person is, is, it has value. Um, this is also going to be important for times when you're going to um, a venue that you don't like. You know, maybe you don't like the fans. Maybe you don't like uh, the weather. You know, the weather I know is a huge factor, especially this time of year. Um, and we're able to to see the value. Hey, I'm able to get outside. I'm able to play, especially being able to have gratitude once we're we're through this uh, this time, you know, and, and be able to get back to sport. We're going to be able to be more positive during that. Um, coaches being able to be more, uh, you know, as I work with athletes, you know, most coaches, or most athletes have had a coach that they don't care for, uh, and recognizing, hey, this person didn't wake up this morning to to you know, their first thought was not to ruin my day. And so even if you do have a different, um, um, you know, uh, you, have, you have a completely different mindset from sport, from your coach, it's, it's super helpful to at least see their value and see maybe the, the positive things that they want you to get out of the way that they're approaching you, um, the positive lessons that they are trying to teach you so that way it's not all negative. Because if it's all negative, even when they do do one positive thing towards you or, or say one positive thing, you're still not going to take it in a positive manner you're still going to take it as negative because you know when we negativity breeds negativity so the more positive we can be even if it is just once in a while um, we're going to be more open-minded to accepting that that positivity um, being able to have gratitude towards ourselves is huge i've worked with uh, just last week was working with a lacrosse team 
and uh, several athletes had mentioned that they're really good teammates towards towards you know their team and and they will always you know boost them and and help them you know especially if they've they've had something go wrong or made an error and but they don't receive that themselves for themselves they don't experience that same you know kind of self-love you know that they hey it's okay i can get through this and the more positive we can be towards ourselves the more gratitudes that we can show ourselves the the better we're going to be able to overcome um an error to a, a mistake um, an issue on the field that we're going to be able to overcome and be able to finish the game i know that's really hard for for all athletes you know when we've made a mistake is to, to let it go and, and um, uh, you know, make sure that it doesn't bog us down for the rest of the game. Um, and so being able to show ourselves that is going to help us be able to, to overcome. And that's, that's really hard to do. Um, so I know you're still asking, how is this going to help me during this difficult time? But, but having gratitude at this time in, in all of those scenarios um, is is going to be able to to help you bounce back when we're ready to play. So what are things that you are grateful for right now? Um, even if it is basic, you know, right now, if, if you're you're so angry and, and very negative right now, what are some basics? You know, are, are you healthy? Do you have a roof over your head? Do you have food on the table? Are those basic needs that, that you have met? And, and I'm hoping that they are for you. Um, and if they're not, you know, try to pull from any positivity. That you, that you you can because that's going to be how we're going to be able to get through this and, and overcome um if you need to pull from some inspiration i know that uh even on tv you know espn isn't showing any sports but there have been some really cool stories of, of people who've overcome adversity um you, you know whether gender biases whether racial biases but they've been able to overcome or, or even physical we were watching a special on the nba and it was about spud web and um, you know, some of the, the, the smaller, you know, athletes in the NBA, um, you know, overcoming and, and being incredible athletes in what they do, uh, despite their size. So it just, again, just trying to pull any positivity that you can from, from anywhere is, is really going to be helpful right now. Um, knowing that there are still so many positives in your life, knowing that there are so many great things, you know, that, that, you can be doing it. Do you have more time right now? Are you able to get more sleep? Are you able to eat better? Is there a skill you can work on? I know that, you know, our gym just closed last night um, and won't be reopening for at least two weeks. <clears throat> so I had to dust off all my, you know, equipment in the basement instead. And um, I, I'm going to work on a new skill, something that I've wanted to work on and achieve and, and haven't focused on it at the gym, you know, that I go to because I you know, didn't make the time for it. And so now I am, um, knowing that things are a little bit different, have to be a little more flexible. And, and what, for, for you, what does that mean? Is there something different that you can be doing a skill in your sport that you can be working on? Um, can you be training a little bit differently? Um, the, the, the worst thing that you can possibly do right now is just sit on a couch and, and, you know, veg out for the next two weeks, because when, the season resumes, and again, we don't know when that's going to be. That could be in exactly two weeks. If you've wasted this the whole two weeks, you're you're really going to be behind, um, especially those athletes who have, you know, put in extra work, extra time, and focusing on on their, you know, the mental or I'm sorry, the physical um, aspect of their game. But this is, again is a, is a practice that you can work on the mental part, um, and it's something that you can you can actively be doing each day. What are you grateful for? What are you thankful for? What can you be doing with this time um, that's going to make you a, a better, stronger athlete and person? Um, is there anything else that you, you know, as an athlete feel like you've put off because you haven't had the time or, or maybe, um, you know, even being able to reach back out to teammates during this time and, and make sure, hey, guys, you know, keeping in, keep in each other, that social aspect, you know, um, keeping everybody up and, hey, once we're ready to go, you know, once the season resumes, we're, we're going to be set. Um, so talking to your coaches, talking to your, to your teammates is going to be very important um, to, to get us all through this time. So just uh, wanted to mention gratitude and how that can help to uh, help you with resiliency, help you through get through a difficult time, and hoping that you all are safe and uh, staying healthy. Thank you.